Hello everyone, my name is Fox. In this particular video, we're going to be taking a look at GPD's latest tool that they've just released for their GPD Win 3, their button configuration tool. Now I've had the beta for this a few days ago, but now the final release is out. I'm sure there's still going to be more versions yet to come, but right now it's pretty stable and does the job what it needs to do. Now, GPD has long talked about these back buttons being single buttons or macros. What I didn't anticipate was that the button configuration tool will also change the some mouse mode settings as well, which is pretty cool. There are some additional features there that I wish that it did. Uh, so we'll see if that's even possible. I don't know if it's going to be possible, like in mouse mode, to be able to also change what select and start do. Uh, also, the Xbox button. All GPD Win devices never have the select start and Xbox button do anything in any of the Win buttons. Uh, the win buttons, the win models. So it's not unexpected. It's just something that it's kind of a wish list feature that I'm saying. So it's not a fault. It's just something that I wish happens. So that's one thing I just wanted to quickly say. So let's focus on the gamepad portion of this particular back, back button configuration. Because you're in gamepad mode, when you switch the gamepad controller to gamepad mode, you can obviously send gamepad controls to it. So you can see on our right key right here, I have this set to L1 which is right here. Now L1 will still work, but also this right button right that I have set right over here will also send L1 as well. But you can also do macro commands and you have two different types of time delay between each button press and up to four button presses. So in this particular instance, you can see that I have A. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let me switch back to mouse. You have between zero milliseconds and 100 milliseconds. Apologies for the lighting here. I had to take out my studio lighting. So this is now, it's going to do A, 100 milliseconds, B, 100 milliseconds, C, 100 milliseconds, D. I'm going to go ahead and click save here right now. Thank you, camera, for focusing a little bit better. Again, I apologize for the light. So now we're going to go ahead and go into the notepad, and I'm going to go ahead and press the left button, and you can see right there. Oh, well, let's get it so that it's initialized. Do I not have A in there? Did I remove A? Oh, I did. <laughs> Let me put A back in there. So we're going to put here. I'm going to do A. I'm going to go back to the notepad. And now that I saved it, when I press the left bumper, it'll do A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Just like that. <laughs> so uh, it works. It's um, a user error. So as long as you do this correctly, it will work just fine. So now one thing that the newer version does is you can go ahead and click reset here and that will reset all these buttons. So now NC means nothing. It's null. So right now these buttons do nothing. If I were to click save, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check the left bumper, but now make sure you go into gamepad mode because the can, what you're trying to map is what you want to press. So you clicked and highlighted. it. Now I'm going to press L1 and L1 shows up right there. So I'm going to go ahead and tap here because the mouse mode doesn't work. So your only input method is the touchscreen. You're going to do R1 right there and you're going to click save. You can see right there that the configuration is saved. And now we can go and take a look just with like a standard tool that is already built into Windows. So now if I press L1 right here and I press the back button, And it just works. Likewise, if I press R1, you can see the little light right there. Again, apologies for my lighting here. And that works just fine. So in that particular respect, that works just fine. So uh, one thing that someone had mentioned in the Discord that I don't really, I, I'm not, the, I wasn't never the biggest fan of having mappable L3 and R3 as the trigger buttons for the Win 2 because the analog sticks did not click in. But you can indeed, if you wanted to, uh, you want to get that functionality back, you can do, uh, let me go and put this into gamepad mode and not mouse mode. So we're going to go ahead and click back in here. And you can do L3 and R3. If you really wanted those buttons back and you like that functionality, now you can have L3 and R3 as your back paddle buttons instead of pressing the analog stick buttons. And you can just map it to anything. So it's pretty cool in that respect. It just works. Uh, I'm not really going to be demoing it on any particular game. The only thing that's worth mentioning here is that one thing that I talked about in the gamepad control section, especially when I'm holding the D-pad, I do this ring finger out method. Uh, when I'm holding like this, my index fingers actually rest right on the back paddles. 
So I, well, once again, this is why I prefer to do it as uh, L1 and R1. At least in this respect, I have the four face buttons and then the two back buttons. So I have six available buttons, not the full 12 array, but I really can't reach up up here comfortably when I'm using the D-pad in this particular manner. So I prefer it like this, and I just press the back buttons like this while I'm playing. And uh, so far, it hasn't been too bad. I actually kind of like it. So that's one thing. Now let's go ahead and go back. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at mouse mode configuration. Now in this particular thing, again, one of the things that I wish were here, and I wish I can, my camera would just focus better here. You can't see it too well, but you can see that nothing is pointing down here for start and select. Likewise for the Xbox button, um, it's just not mappable. And that's not really a fault of the Win 3. Every GPD Win series never mapped anything to start and select or the Xbox button in mouse mode. So this is a wish list feature for me that I wish that GPU would eventually do. But right now you can see that the analog stick is set to WASD. So now again, if I go back to the notepad and I do WASD, you can see that the WASD keys are being sent there. Now, if I were to just go and change some of these keys, let's go here. I'm gonna go and change and oh, okay. We're gonna go ahead and click save there. It saved it. Great. So now we have uh, OFAH. Okay, so in here we can see it. I'm going to press right stick to press enter. And then you might be asking yourself why you would want to, you know, actually do that. And there's a thing that uh, Faust and I were actually talking about at length was trying to find the absolute ideal set of buttons in mouse mode where you could play older PC games without actually needing to engage into the gamepad mode. Now, it would still be ideal, again, if Select Start and the Xbox button were mappable, because then at that point you could really go pretty crazy with what you wanted to map. But there might be some DOS games or older PC games that you don't really want to put in the gamepad mode and it'd be better off just kind of configuring these buttons. Another thing that would be kind of cool if the community could contribute different types of configurations for the mouse mode. So you can just like kind of select a game and just start playing a PC old PC game, which would be pretty cool. And that's a, another wishlist feature that I, I kind of wish for. Overall, uh, I'm really happy that they included the mouse mode as well. This would be nice if this was extended to other GPD Win devices. At the moment, it is just for the GPD Win 3. I appreciate this particular direction going forward. I would love to have this tool go forward and have further optimizations, further uh, inclusions, again, for that start and select, but also to map other things. Um, I really enjoy this particular configuration tool. It is a nice innovation for this particular device. So just a really good uh, little demo. That's pretty much it. Uh, it's been pretty straightforward. Nothing really demo sh game demo to show you. It's just kind of very direct with how it works or not. So that's it. Uh, as always, guys, thank you for your time and thanks for watching.